Hello, this is Dane Takahashi from VentureBeat. I'm here with Kevin Mahaffey, who's the Chief Technology Officer of Lookout Mobile Security. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. We're here at the uh, Black Hat Conference, which is the beginning of four days of Black Hat and DEF CON conferences here in Las Vegas on security. So for people who aren't familiar with uh, this kind of conference, uh, tell us what it's like. So Black Hat and DEF CON is the uh, world's premier gathering for security researchers and experts who are uh, really keeping every the technology we use every day safe, everything from cars to PCs to servers to ATMs to mobile phones. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned these things because I guess everything is subject to attack from, from hackers these days. Huh? Well, there's uh, certainly yet to be a perfectly mm -hmm. secure system ever built, and I don't think ever one ever will be built. Mm -hmm. But what is important is that you know us, the good guys, uh, share knowledge on how to protect them. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, uh, Black Hat's got a funny name, I guess, in that respect. Uh, everybody sort of uh, sometimes wonders whether uh, uh, all the bad hackers are really gathering here just to learn tricks about how to, how to penetrate companies, right? Uh, but maybe that's, uh, that's sort of the old reputation. One or, of the mm -hmm. philosophies of Black Hat is, is, is disclosure. Mm -hmm. um, so that the best way to understand how the bad guys are going to get in is to actually try to attack things yourself, mm -hmm. but do them in an ethical way. So. Uh, a lot of companies will probe their own systems mm -hmm. where they will try to write you know, the worst attack against their own systems they possibly can to understand where the attackers are, are going to be. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same reason why the military runs war games. Mm -hmm. you know, the best way to understand where your weaknesses are is to essentially pretend to be an attacker. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Black Hat and DEF CON is you have some of the world's best researchers actually explaining how, you know, what new techniques exist, what the bad guys could do. And the philosophy behind all of that is if you have the good guys you know, trying to attack these systems and sharing how they're doing it, you can arm all the people charged with protecting these systems with the best knowledge. If we didn't do something like this, then the people protecting the systems would not have a, you know, a strong way to know what the bad guys are up to. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Moss, the, uh, the organizer of the conference, he mentioned uh, at the beginning today that the uh, organized criminals uh, um, and uh, other criminal hackers uh, are probably not holding their own conferences to announce what they're going to be doing next, right? <laughs> That's exactly right, which makes it more and more important for you know, the good guys to collaborate. Mm -hmm. okay. And you're very focused on mobile technology. What do you notice about uh, that? What's particularly striking about mm -hmm. mobile technology is how quickly it's growing. Mm -hmm. um, what took two decades or so to get mass penetration in PCs and personal computers mm -hmm. is taking only a few years on smartphones and tablets. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's also striking is that the attack surface of mobile devices is incredibly complicated. Um, it's you know probably as complex or even more complex than the PC world, mm -hmm. which makes it you know, ever more important that we learn our lessons from the security mistakes of the PC and you know start applying them to mobile so we don't have a repeat of some of the big worms. We don't have wide-scale phishing attacks that we can, at the end of the day, make mobile devices more secure than PCs. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, there, there is sort of security for Apple in, in one sense on, on the, the Mac side and, yeah. and for the, the wide open Windows PC as well. Is, is there a parallel here for Apple's iPhone and, uh, and Google's Android as well? I, I think the, the mm -hmm. mobile ecosystem is still so new. Things mm -hmm. are very uh, fluid and uh, I think some patterns are starting to play out. We are seeing an emergence of mobile malware mm -hmm. as well as uh, web-based attacks such as phishing and drive-by downloads. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, it's still too early to predict how the platforms will all play out in five or 10 years in the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the closed or open side of things, do, do, do you believe that either side might be more vulnerable or uh, subject to attack, I guess? I, I think they're both mm -hmm. innovative approaches to security. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with a Apple's curated market, they have a review process where people look at applications before they're published. Mm -hmm. And an Android's approach, they give users the choice to choose between different types of markets. So you have a community-enforced model mm -hmm. where people uh, are charged with the responsibility to kind of evaluate applications and flag suspicious applications. But you also can choose curated markets, such as uh, Verizon Vcast apps or the Amazon App Store for Android. Mm -hmm. So Android enables users to choose what type of experience they want. Mm -hmm. And you guys are analyzing every app that's ever been published in mobile, I guess, right? Yeah, our mm -hmm. goal is to um, know more about mobile applications than everyone else in the world mm -hmm. so that we can identify the bad ones. I mean, mm -hmm. we have a, a very large data set about mobile apps uh, that we're really excited about because uh, instead of having l large numbers of people uh, finding apps all over the world, such as what happens on the PC, we're taking an automated approach to maybe to comprehensively uh, look at the apps available in app stores and protect against bad applications. Mm -hmm. 
So the the industry here has been very interesting. I guess there's a fair amount of venture money that's been pouring into security, and there's there's a lot of uh, acquisitions that have happened. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of all the sort of uh, increased uh, financial activity going on? There's increased financial activity, and there's also been an increase in threats with uh, LulzSec and mm -hmm. um, a lot of the you know, Sony breaches as of late. Mm -hmm. And I think what it's saying is that we are becoming more and more an information economy mm -hmm. where the value of our data is so paramount. Mm -hmm. um, keeping that data safe and secret and protected mm -hmm. is, is very important. And um, we're seeing that both in companies investing more time and energy into making sure their systems are secure, that they respect privacy, that they, they, they control them, mm -hmm. but also in, in t uh, technologies and solutions, you know, as you mentioned, venture money, to actually go build a lot of these technologies that will keep information safe in the future. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's exciting to see that security is becoming a first-class citizen in many organizations that you know your company can be made or made or broken depending on how good you are at security. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys raised a relatively big round recently as well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're very glad to have uh, mm -hmm. you know, some, some excellent uh, partners on board mm -hmm. to help us build a great security company. Mm -hmm. And how many people do you have now? Uh, we have over 60 people right now. Okay. And uh, what, what is the new report you guys just uh, released? Uh, so we released mm -hmm. a uh, mobile threat report that mm -hmm. was a broad overview of uh, smartphone threats, mm -hmm. uh, primarily focusing on January 2011 through June 2011, uh, mm -hmm. looking at some of the major trends in both uh, mobile malware mm -hmm. as well as uh, web-based attacks mm -hmm. uh, to smartphones. Mm -hmm. And what was the finding there? That I guess it's, it's on the increase, right? That yeah, thing. so we, we found that mm -hmm. um, in, in two major ways uh, attacks we found to be uh, increasing. One mm -hmm. is the prevalence of mobile malware. Mm -hmm. We found uh, increased uh, about, uh, about two and a half times from January 2011 to June 2011. Mm -hmm. um, the, the prevalence in, in, uh, certainly increased over that time period. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, web-based threats, we found that uh, users on Android had approximately a 30% likelihood of encountering an unsafe link over the course of a, a year based on our current detection rates. Mm -hmm. And I think a, a lot of people uh, realized that mobile threats were being developed when we're still, I'd call it in the startup phase mm -hmm. of mobile threats. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, we like to release, you know, kind of hard statistics as well as um, some insight for when we analyze applications, here are the trends we're seeing. You know, in the spirit of full disclosure and transparency, we want to make sure that the good guys can understand what are the real threats now, what is not yet a threat, and mm -hmm. where are things moving so that we can position, you know, if you run an IT department or you're a network operator trying to educate your users or you're a user who's simply asking, what can I do to stay safe? Uh, having this data helps you be a more savvy user or a better positioned IT department or a more prepared carrier um, so that you can hopefully prevent a lot of the attacks on mobile that have happened on PCs. Mm -hmm. and I think that's what, you know, we're really excited about of the opportunity to make sure that mobile phones really are a safe, secure computing platform. Cool. That's Kevin Mahaffey from uh, Lookout Mobile Security. Thanks very much.